Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on the San Francisco Giants, who have been good with pitching, especially since Gabe Kapler arrived last year. Um, getting Matthew Boyd, as well as Carlos Martinez. Carlos Martinez has struggled mightily in recent years since having great success with his nasty stuff, being able to have the great movement on his fastball and mixing in the breaking ball earlier in his career with the um, St. Louis Cardinals. But now he has to try to get that back, try to get the confidence back, and try to just get the same repeated motion back each time. And maybe the Giants could do that for them like they got the best out of Kevin Galsman to get him the great contract he had um, now with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. So they have got the best out of guys. Zach Littell in the bullpen they got the best out of, uh, and others as well that they were able to really produce. Look how good Logan Webb's doing. He was never that big of a prospect. He was the, probably their best pitcher last year. So... Um, especially in the playoffs. So, I mean, the Giants just know how to pull the most out of the pitching, and that's Carlos Martinez. They also got Matt Boyd, who's a guy that I wanted my Phillies to be interested in for years just because he's not anything special, but he can just eat innings for you as a lefty, pitch anywhere in between like a 3-5 to a 4-5 ERA, but just eat innings for you. He did have a very bad, I believe, 2020, but that season's a wash for me. I don't give a crap about the 2020 stats of anybody in most sports because there was so much out of underlining stuff going on uh, away from the field. You couldn't see your family. Like, there's a lot of stuff that goes into effect, and we have to remember these people are human before they're players. So I don't th – screw 2020. When it comes to last year, though, he did pretty good, Matt Boyd, and he got back to just being that guy that can eat innings for you as a lefty. He has a solid mix-in curveball, but a good fastball change-up combination that's able to get him most of his outs. So I think both of these are really good additions for the San Francisco Giants, particularly – because the San Francisco Giants are adding depth. Obviously, the Dodgers are the big almighty Dodgers that just got Freddie Freeman. Um, but the San Francisco Giants don't back down. They continue to add depth. They continue to add guys that they think they can get the most and best out of. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get the most and best out of uh, Matthew Boyd. And I wouldn't be surprised if I don't know if they're going to need him as a starter because of what they have there. But if they can get the most and best out of Carlos Martinez as a bullpen arm, it wouldn't surprise me at all with how they were able to pull the most out of a lot of different pitchers um, in their system last year, and I don't know why that would all of a sudden start stop happening. And also, on top of it, I forgot to even throw in, on the 14th, the Giants actually picked up Jacob Junis, who had some success, while with the Royals as well. So, I mean, th they, they're picking up young guys that have success. Junis could end up turning into the next Zach Littell with the stuff he has. It's just he's not very good in the strikes, and he leaves it in too much money-hitting spots. But if he can locate better and use the movement and trust his stuff, um, like other pitchers have been able to do and develop into doing, then that would be huge for him. So we'll have to see, but the Giants picked up three pitchers that definitely have promised for them in Jake Junis, Carlos Martinez, and obviously the last, but certainly not least, probably the best, in Matthew Boyd. So I think the Giants, they're actually very smartly adding on more and more to depth. They also claim Jose, or, yeah, Jose Godoy, um, from the Mariners, who's a good catcher, solid developing catcher, and maybe he can be a backup for them in the future, or just break in the minors, or even make the team his backup now and be a pleasant surprise for them in that aspect. So I think the Giants have had a sneaky good offseason this far, picking up a lot of good people. Junis, I wouldn't even be surprised if he ends up turning into their damn fifth starter with how good they are pitching, or it's Matthew Boyd, or it's Martinez, and then the rest could just go into the bullpen because the Giants... Last year got the most out of a lot of guys, and I see them doing that again when it comes to their pitching staff. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. We can subscribe down below. Up above them, each of these widgets to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. I really appreciate your love and support this far.